Hey guys, so we're back with Lillian today, who is enjoying her breakfast. Everyone seems in a pretty good mood, so that's good. <laughs> that's a good way to start. Everyone is not massively angry or annoyed or anything today. Even Jane is feeling better, so I think that's really nice. Um, and then they've got a couple of sentiments, which is deeply connected and adoring, which I also think is really nice. So, Lillian... I did call her Lillian, or did I call her Maya at the start of this video? I can't remember. So, Lillian's going to have some breakfast. We're going to invite... She only knows one teenager, which is Jason Goth. So, we're actually going to invite him to hang out today. We might actually go out. We'll um, travel with him, I think. So, she can get to know him a little bit better. Because I said, that's the only teenager I think she knows. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. Everyone else is a young adult, so we're going to travel with Jason and we're going to get to know him a little bit better. And he looks so much like Malcolm Langrab. I know he is Malcolm's baby, but still, so much like him. <coughs> so I'm going to be back with Maya um, tomorrow. And when we go to Maya, we're going to be working on our relationship with Samuel. But yeah, so Lillian needs to have two failed romances before she finds the one. So we could possibly start something with Jason, I suppose, who's wearing leather trousers and looking really depressed. Let's go and gossip with him and talk to him a little bit. Discuss his interests. Oh, he's not. Express joy of life. Propose a crazy scheme. We're just going to get to know him a little bit better. Attractiveness alert. Wait, who was that? Jason Goth. No way. Is she really attracted to him then? Extremely attractive. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We definitely have something here. I wonder if he feels the same way. Let's ask about his day. On the engaging story. I don't want to reveal a crush just yet. My goodness. Don't go so fast, girl. We'll just do a little flirt, like, to test the waters. So, ooh, that would be interesting. I would quite like them to get together, because it would be cool to have, like, a goth. What's going on with her face? What has she done? Is that her makeup? Oh, no, sweetheart. Okay, you know, before we do a flirt, let's go and fix your makeup. <laughs> Because uh, we're not going to do that. We're in messy makeup. Yeah, you are. Let's go and fix your makeup. So she needs to go on two dates and have a boyfriend or girlfriend for this aspiration. So we might just do some romance and maybe go on a date with him. We're still trying to figure everything out. But I think she's like, oh, you know, my. I think cause she's the youngest. She might want to grow up a little bit more. And she's like, oh, well, my siblings are moving on. Speaking of, there's one. But you're going to ruin the vibe. <coughs> you know, my siblings, like, so she just wants to be more grown up. So she sees that as, like, having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think she's going to move, like, quite quickly into a relationship with him. But I can't see her lasting. Shall we, like, ask him out on a date? There's not many really places we can go. Um, We'll go to the museum on a date. That would be nice. They can go to a museum together on a date. It's a problem. There's not many places for, like, teenagers. I mean, we could go, like, later on maybe to the juice bar kind of thing. But, yeah, I want to work on her aspiration because, basically, she needs the points so I can get her the connection trait so I don't have to start at the bottom. I'm not going to be too desperate to do this with, like, the other generations but this one oh, let's go and sit at the top but this one in particular because 
the like live careers I find take longer to reach level 10 that having the connection trait for all three of these going in is just going to make it a little bit easier and I don't want to do as much grinding. I'm also worry wondering with Lillian is if she should have a baby with one of her failed relationships. I don't think I want to go down the teen pregnancy route with her, but maybe, you know, just one of her, her failed relationships. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, they can do their first kiss already. Let's ask him if he's single first. Whisper sweet nothings. Compliment his appearance. We'll tickle him then. That's like a flirty thing to do. Yay, he is single. Jason is single. Ask about siblings. Oh, snuggle. I have siblings. Okay, so does she. Just give him a massage. Yeah, I can see Maya doing things like differently. Should we ask him to be our boyfriend? Like we've only just gone on a date with him, but we'll see what he says. There's a lot of attraction there, so possibly. They don't know each other very well. Do you know anything about him? No. We don't even know any of his traits or anything, but she's going to ask him anyway. Yay! Embrace. Romance. Go for your first kiss. Lillian is far too... Try to act far too grown up for her age, I think. But there we go. First kiss as well. It's a super romantic compliment. Oh, I need to concentrate on this date. Tell a joke about ducks. Because you need to joke with your date. Tell him an inside joke. And then... We'll do a funny story. And then we'll go in for a kiss. Kiss. I could have woo woo with you forever. Oh my god, Lillian, no, you're too young. You're way, way too young for woo woos. Kiss, kiss, kiss. We need to have deep conversations. Do you even know each other well enough for deep conversations? Because I'm not really sure you do. He's an art lover. All right, that's not too bad. Like that's a nice trait to have. There's nothing wrong with uh, liking art. Why would you like? Just kiss him. Yay! Should I kiss him passionately. Ooh. Passionate kiss. What does she want to do? Ask someone to go steady. You've already done that. Tell a dirty joke and chat with Rowan. Well, let's tell a dirty joke because you can work on your comedy skill too because you need to max that out. I don't know if you've got anything in comedy. Oh, yeah, you are. You're level one. Awesome. You also need to pee. Yeah, I think she's just going to be like this. I think she's going to be moving really, really fast with relationships because she wants to be more grown up like her brother and sister because they've all moved out and she's like the youngest. And not that I move fast with relationships, but when I was younger, I think because I had older siblings, I always tried to act more grown up than I was. It's an awkward encounter because you guys are flirting in front of all these kids. Okay, and now we've learned that clear is mean. So yeah, I feel like she's rushed into this relationship with Jason before she really knows anything about him. Who's that? Any teenagers here we can get to know? No. 
yeah, before, yeah, we really, does. she doesn't know that much about him. I feel like she's done it because, you know, she wanted a relationship going into high school. She wanted to be cool and have boyfriends going into high school. Like, that's the way she thought of things. So they're going to view some art like grown-up people. But I don't know how long. Oh, Rowan, what are you doing here? What is it with all of our siblings crashing out dates like? Probably keeping an eye on her. He's a, he is an adult. He's an adult. She's an adult. There's a way to check their like gender preferences, but I just don't know how to do it. Like, I'm not sure. Um... Nope, I don't know how to do it. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. My apologies. Oh, and this is it. The date is coming to an end, but it was a gold, so she's done really well there. She's also just met loads of people. I've just let her carry on for the last few minutes of it. Yay! We gotta say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay, let's head home. It's like 7pm and it's our first day of high school tomorrow. So she's done her homework. She's pretty much ready to go in. I think we just walked past Maya, who's doing her own thing. Like I said, they're all keeping an eye on it. They're like, we're going to be watching out for our younger sister. We don't trust her. Okay, so let's go and get some big tea. Do you want to come over? I'm just like, sorry, I'm busy. Too cool being a teenager, doing teenage stuff. Do, 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 do. And then we will hit the hay. I really do need to redo a room as well. I just don't know if I can be bothered right now. She's going to bed because she's got school in the morning. We're just with Jane. Who apparently has now acquired the painting skill and is now hiding from everyone because of her makeup. Okay, well, why don't you just come here and can you not fix your makeup? She's too embarrassed. Their makeup was making her embarrassed, right? Go to sleep, Jane. It's like 10 o'clock. Just go to sleep. I'm super excited for her to go to school. I'm going to have her like on the making friends section so she can go and meet people. Because as much as I want her to do well in school, and I do, um, I do want her to meet people. I feel like she's like really sociable. You know, she's romantic. She's out. She's going to be outgoing. Well, she's already outgoing, isn't she? Yeah. So I think it would suit her to go in, in and make friends. Jane can do whatever she wants with her retirement. That's the nice thing about being retired. What's the matter of oh, unpleasant surroundings? Don't worry. Do not worry. Okay, let's uh, brush your teeth. And we'll... Practice proposing. No, let's not do that. Let me put on some perfume for school. There we go. And we will change into our everyday outfit. We do need a few more everyday outfits for her. I've only got one so far, so definitely need a couple more. I will, like, as she goes to school, she'll develop, like, her own style and stuff. We'll see how she does. But I'm excited to send her in and for her to make friends, so... What I'm probably going to do, though, is cut back to after school. Do you think that I can accomplish anything? No, I don't, actually. Wow, harsh. Do you have fun hanging out with me? Of course I do. All right, she's just winding in, mama. What do you think about my outfit today? Do you think it looks good on me? Is a dressing gown. Yes, why do you have to ask? Okay, guys, so I'm going to cut back now to when she gets home from school because there's not really going to be much going on in the meantime so let's make some friends we'll see how she is after school okay guys so Lillian's back from school she's actually brought Jason with her no surprise there 
Um, but she has made some friends in school, so we are going to invite over Beatrix and Luz. Luz, Luz. So we're going to invite them both over. We're going to spend some time with everyone. Could use a toilet first. Beatrix pancakes. Oh my god, she's a pancake. Yeah, we're going to like spend some time with everyone. Get to know. Okay, is she the girl? Is she the swimsuit girl? Because I'm going to have to fix her. She is the swimsuit girl. Okay. Discuss interests. I just really wanted to like make some friends and things like that. Because she's um like a very, very friendly person. That's how she is. Give props, whatever that is. Discuss her your interests. <clears throat> they flirt in. Like right in front of her. Oh my god, they were. She just full on flirted in front of him. No way. She's gloomy. Oh my god, how are we going to handle this? I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, ooh, she's not happy with him. Oh, no. No, right, I want you to... Can we, like, argue with him over that? Go and yell at. Like, he literally just flirted with someone in front of your face. Be like, I can't believe you just did that. Right, we're going to send the girls home because I was hoping for her to get to know them a little bit better and, like, you know, spend some time, but... Oh, wow, their relationship went down really quickly. Is he leaving? Is he literally leaving? No. Drifting them. Oh, my God, she's so sad. You're going to have to go and break up with him. See what's happening. Why is something happening? Where's everyone going to see what's happening with this person? Come back. You're getting dumped whether you like it or not. How depressed she is. I don't know what the hell that was all about. She's breaking up with him. She's like, no, no, no. Lillian just broke up with Jason. Bitter about breakup. I know. Are you okay, kid? She's going home. She's so sad now. That was the most short-lived relationship ever. They got together and then he flirted with someone right in front of her face. Oh, poor Lillian. Like, really, poor Lillian. She did not deserve this. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Jason. Go and cry it out, sweetheart. So I think on this note, I'm going to end this part here. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you like Lillian's very, very short romance. And I will see you all in the next episode.